Yo, 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 it's your boy, Big Fud, right here. And we got this next guest right here. Your name, dance name, how old you are, where you from? Man, it's Shazam, Lil Slick, Stacey X. Don't know if I threw that up right, but I get that all the time. It's the oil man, all the way from Lancaster, Cali. That's dope, that's crazy. So, uh, how long you've been crumping? Oh man, I've been crumping since 2016. 2016, was 2023 now? Yeah, I've been crumping about, matter of fact, me and Bill started at the same time. So I think he's six years in, I mean, I'm six years in as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, what else do you do outside of crumb? What are your other uh, professions and things that you do, hobbies and whatnot? Um, just like you, Fudd, I'm out here at barber school, I'm cutting, I'm chopping up, I just added that in my bag. Um, I'm a mind minister, I travel across the states, in your city, in my city, you name a church, I've probably been there about a few times already. Um, I'm also, uh, I was a popper first, before I became a crump, so I'm solidified in the all style. Ask about me, you just say Shazam, they know exactly who you talking about. They can't get past these hits. <laughs> so, hey, so, so you the man with the hits? Yes, sir. Ain't nobody hit harder than me. Uh, is that a fact? I got a plaque to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. Um, so, like, how long have you been dancing in general? Oh, man. That's actually a good question. I'm 24 now. I started when I was 11. I picked it up kind of late compared to everybody else who's been dead for a very, very long time. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. So, Shazam, how did you come up with the name, though? Um, man. Well, I'm not your average hype man. So, um, I was already thinking in a dance aspect for us little dancers. We dance kind of like in this little pocket. So, uh, growing up in the popping world, because I was so young, hitting like a grown man, I was running through names. Me and my little brother, we was called Thing One and Thing Two. Then uh, we grew from Thing One and Thing Two to Black Ice and Shiver. And then growing up, I'm like, no, this just don't fit. And I'm still, you name any battle I've been to, I've always been the youngest in the popping region. Um, I was still called, you know, you just need a better name. You know, you're so young, and you out hitting these OGs and these grown men. And I ran across Shazam and his power, just a little kid, you know, just given to the body of God. And he was just screaming Shazam. And he just turned into this God, this big man. But he had like a young kid mentality. He was still himself. I was like, you know what, that's me. I'll just bend it and twist it. So I'm regular me is cool. I'm out there performing or getting off, dancing. I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, that that fit though. I ain't gonna be lying. It really fit like who you are as a person and who you are as a dancer. Um, I think that was like the perfect uh, uh, explanation for for like that name really fit you. You know what I mean? Uh, and you saw. Uh, you say you stay in Lancaster? Yeah. How was the scene out there in Lancaster though? Um, it's uh right now it's dry. I wish I was coming up in Crump when it was pretty jumping back in the six. I knew of I knew of them. I was just a popper then. I was really, really biased from the dance styles. I felt like there was nobody out there better than us. There was nobody out there cleaner than us. You know, so I've always respected the style. I just didn't really care too much to be involved in it. Um, but it grew on me. So the scene, it's, it needs a revival. So yeah, we're, yeah. we're praying on it. <laughs> Yo, so I see you also uh, a, a father also, right? And uh, and I see you, you know, I see your kids. But uh, uh, you got, other than me, you got two of the buckets kids in the game. Uh, what are their names and, and how um, are they? Firstborn, I call him my celebrity. That's my celebrity son, Ezra, aka Easy Money, aka Ruck the Diapers. We're working on him with the pull-ups. He'll be Ruck the Pull-ups real soon. <laughs> We're gonna graduate, but yeah, he was. That's the golden child. That's my golden baby right there. And then you have uh, J Man, uh, Icy J, aka uh, Micro Mini Doom. AKA Mini Me Lord. That's Ooh. my powerhouse. If you guys see them dance next to each other, you can literally distinguish who is who. Yes. You can tell he's a ruck 
you can tell that Jay's destructive. He's a me lord. Yeah. You just see him throw it on. Yeah. You know, Ezra, he's all in the pocket. He's on the ground. He yeah. got the groove. So it's really cool just watching them grow. Those, those are some killers. I'll be scared. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the Crump game need to be scared because you got the buckets up and coming uh, natural born killers you're in the game so yeah, that's that's dope though and you are uh like should we raising we raising dope kids in the movement and that's dope to really have them around uh the you know the the culture of it so they can really you know be you know grow up the right way like i, I really feel like that's a a good it, crump is a good environment to have around right i mean you teach them a little bit of toughness and all that so uh where do you see yourself in five years in this movement man um in five years i see myself traveling and teaching but the way i would teach and this is just how i feel now and i'm gonna feel the same growing in this dance i will teach from um the area of where we're dancing from, if that makes sense. And that's why I view people's battles and I watch uh, uh, I watch people dance and stuff like that. And I always yell, if I'm feeling it, I will scream like, yo, you're dancing from a whole different place. And not everybody understand that because yeah. they're too busy looking for the oohs and ahs and what's going to be caught on camera. So I dance from pure feeling, which was really uh, drew me to Crump from the drum. If y'all didn't give me the feeling, I probably wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I see myself five years just teaching and literally uh, growing this dance in such a more safer and healthier aspect. That we say Crump is an outlet, and a lot of us, I want to say we treat it as such, but a lot of us don't at the same time. Yeah. So I want to just really spread the uh, the best way to teach, which is the feeling. The foundation is gonna be there. It's what Bud taught me. The foundation is what you make it. You yeah. got your foundation, you got your basics, but what is your foundation, what is your basic? And I want Ooh. to add the feeling in it. And once they lock that down, the character's gonna come because they know what uh, what feeling that comes with. So once we spread that, I feel like it's gonna start with me, we're gonna be all right. <laughs> hey, that's, that's, that's what's up. So uh, you've been out here catching catching bodies, battling crazy. She so Sam don't play when it really comes to these these battles. I see this this cat on multiple battle cards, and uh, you know I mean, and you 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 really like, really explosive and things like that. So like, what, what, to this point, what has been your hardest person that you've battled? Man, I talk about to this to the uh, the worst ass whooping I got was Baby Ann. Baby dead end gave it to me. And um, I already knew, but I won't say that. I didn't know what he was capable of. But as I was watching him dance, I was too busy in my own zone. I wasn't really focused on the battle tactics to really, uh, uh, to leave my stamp there. What, what, uh, were y'all back at the, uh, the get off? The get off. Uh, last yeah. year. I was, yeah. I, I can honestly say that in that, in that battle, I was too much tapped in into my character. Yeah. Versus uh, the dancers. Watch, I hate watching that footage. Sometimes you're like, yo, what was I thinking? There was some stuff I did and it was hard. But uh, as I was telling, I remember telling Ruck and Bill, I was like, that boy was stacking on me. Yeah. Like he was building this round. He just kept stacking. He just kept stacking. So right there, immediately, I went to the lab. I said, I need to start stacking. Don't matter where my uh, mentality will be. I don't care what kind of character I pick or what I'm bringing to the table. As long as I'm building my rounds the way they need to be built, and I just stack and finish, I'm good. Yeah. yeah so Baby Ann left a good. Uh, <laughs> he left a good thing in my brain. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. So, so. Um, who are some of the the crumpers that inspire you and inspire like the the way you move? That is an interesting question. Ugly Fate. Ooh. Ugly Fate was the first one. Ooh. Yeah. Um, of course I watched the dancers, the crumpers in the six. Started doing my homework and started watching footage and I was like, okay, who is this white dude? And why well, I keep seeing his name, so I watched Ugly Fate and and how unorthodox he moves. I tell people he's like. Uh, if this was a style in Crump, he's like the rock star 
yeah. of crime. Like he just don't care. He'll throw his body. I've seen him on one leg doing some weird stuff, but it's like so clean. Yeah. And um, I've noticed that when I dance, I have like this unorthodox style. So I'm like, I didn't want to try to bite his style or bite ugly face, but that's where I got majority of my inspiration from. Just I don't care. I'm living in the moment, and it is what it is. <laughs> that's hard. That's 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 pretty dope. I didn't even look at it like that. Like until you broke it down. He, his style is crazy. I really yeah. want to see. I want to see him more here. Please. <laughs> I got a picture when we came out here at the Beast Camp when he battled Dread. Oh, uh, unfortunately, he didn't perform the way I wanted him to. That was like my first time seeing him after watching so much footage on him. All but, right. So, yeah. with that, like, also being a spectator of Crump, like, what is one of the dopest battles you've ever seen? Jeez. Oh my goodness. Wow. I really got to think. Um, okay. Is to throw some out there? Riot versus Dead End. Uh, Bill versus Dead End. <laughs> um, I want to dang near almost every battle I've seen Rush do against Oxy. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the head honchos. I mean, uh, Slick versus Crush. Hey. Slick versus Chosen back at the system. I still Ooh. watch that one. <laughs> Oh, shoot. Uh, who else? Bullet. I still watch Bullet. Bullet. And he, everybody he pretty much battled, I feel like he pretty much walk through. Yeah, but it is my it's, a, it's so many battles I can throw out there. So give me give me a top five. Ooh. Ooh. Your top five. It don't gotta be the top five. My top five. Okay, if I was on YouTube right now and I want to be as far as one of my watchers. Okay. Um Okay, the number one, I have to put slick and chosen. Dang. Because of coming up in Crump, I just kept watching that, especially when I was originally going to be a slick. That was the only video I was watching. For some reason, to this day, I'm trying to figure out why I'm so stuck on that video. <laughs> what is it? What's this Negro doing? Yeah. <laughs> what these two Negroes was doing yeah, in that battle. That was, that was like a gladiator battle. Um, good grief. Okay. Um, Evil Ryu versus AR. Yeah. Wasteland. I, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Material overload. Get off overload. It was too much. Um, who else battled that day? Um, good grief. Think, Deontay. Um, who was it? Ruck battled that same wasteland. I'm trying to remember who he was. Oh, who Lionheart. Did? Yes, Lionheart. I still watch that. What well, was that? That's three? Three. I need two more. Um, Bill battled um, AR at the King of the Ring. That's one of my favorite. Yeah. He whipped out the zombie disco, and Man. it was <laughs> it was murder season. Um, and then I want to say I don't know which battle to pick for Bullet because I like so many. <laughs> um, Okay, I'll do uh, Bullet versus Atrocity at the yeah, Wasteland. That was crazy. The way he was, that Aquaman. I don't think nobody Not really, that. nobody, really nobody picked that up, which is so, I'm so glad I'll be tapped in that nobody way. That. They didn't understand when he walked out, we went out to try it, and he yeah. went under. It was just too much. Yeah. He, he's too much. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> uh, even uh, Atrocity even understand it. That's why he thought he won. It's like, yeah, <laughs> bro, do you know what just happened to you? <laughs> I was in the back like, yo, yeah. how did you... To paint the picture like that for me to like lock in that quick, I was I was done. I'm like, yeah, yeah. just do whatever so, the hell you want to do. <laughs> so, uh, so for the next year and a half, like, uh, who do you have on your list of people you you want to battle? You know what's crazy? I don't even think I have a list. I would say you can throw me against anybody. Ooh, that's where I'm. That's where I'm at. I honestly don't care. I used to be like, no, nah, let me battle in my, you know, in my caliber and see where I'm at. At this point, I'm like, no, nah, I don't care. Because if I can hang with the niggas and pop it, I can hang with the niggas and club. Oh, and shit. I have to push myself to do that. Anybody. And me being biased, I feel like nobody can display character better than me. Ooh. I have, I watch good people in character, slick, rug, fun, riot. 
uh, Bill. Now a lot of people have characters. That's why I feel like I'm one of the top. You bring up character, you have to bring me up. You have to, because I have a lot of battles out there that that displays character, and I bring it in, uh, in fulfillment every time. Ooh, hey, that's crazy. <laughs> hey, we gonna see who who wants that. Yep. What do you have to um, for the next generation? The next generation of Crumpers. What do you? Uh, what what message do you have for? Them? Man, do not care for what these old heads say. <laughs> <laughs> This is your dance too. Well, this dance is what you make it. Um, don't really be a, a copy and paste dancer. It won't get you nowhere. You'll just be running around in circles and you, you'll lose who you are. You start from scratch and you build. Whatever's going on in your life, you use that as fuel, as your crump fuel. And I promise you, it's gonna take you a long way. A long way. Dang, yeah, that's crazy. So any final words? Um. Anything else you want to tell the people? Uh, anything coming up? Anything you're in? Uh, what's your IG? Where can they find you if somebody wants to book you? How they get in touch with you? Uh, so, a few things. I'm Battle Freakazoid at the Hype Factory. Um, word is out. He's going to wipe the floor with me. Ooh. I also got a call from Lil Rowdy saying that Jack went rounds for me too. Don't know why. It's another dead man. I wouldn't fuck with Shazam right now. I wouldn't do that. I've been in a good place, but I haven't been at the best place. So you better pray real hard on which side you see me. Freakazoid, I'm honored to do your eulogy. Um, Jack, it's a great way to be a pole bear, man. It's wonderful. I love the support. Um, if y'all want to find me on any socials, man, Facebook is my first and last name, Deontay Smith, D-I-A-N-T-A-Y Smith. Uh, uh, IG? Shazam Fantastic, double the Z, they're gonna get me for copyright. S-H-A-Z-Z, -Z, two lightning bolts is how I see it. A-M underscore Fantastic. Um, Y'all heard what Fuzz said, I got the Buckets kids in the land after the Buckets kids right now, well I should say one's grown, Ruck and Lyndon, they both watch their footage, they know exactly who they are. Um, I'm Shazam, one of the greatest in DC, one of the greatest upcoming in DC. DC is that crew. We are the promised land. And if you're not in D.C., find Jesus. <laughs> find salvation. Because if, you if, 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 you're, if you're loose too long, you might get caught in the crossfire. And you might die on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, that's it for Shazam, y'all. Hey, this man is crazy, but once again, oil, slicks, pooza, uh, Shazam, DCX. <laughs>